All right, YouTubers. Um, I just want to do a real quick, short, little video um, as to uh, how my axle setup and everything is going to be for uh, this mill. Um, I went yesterday to um, once again. I went back to uh, Leon's Junkyard. Um, if you are ever in Virginia, like I said before, that's the place to go if you need parts for anything. But anyway, real quick, here's what we got going on. This right here, okay, was the front hub off of a Ford um, Focus. The rest of it is right here. So, this was on here, kind of like, uh, let's see here, anyway. This was in here like this, okay. This sat in there like that. And then you see this axle right here. Let's see if I can get this thing propped up for a little bit. Uh, let's do this. So, flip. Okay. So, pretty much, this was right here like this, okay, and then this axle, here, let me scoot this over just a little bit so it's easier to, easier to see. This axle here had the, um, uh, this would be the, um, uh, CV joint and everything. This is slid on here. And then there's another piece that I have around here. Uh, this here along with... Along with this here. So... This was actually part of this, like that. And then we had the whole CV knuckle that sat in here. This was in here like that. Um, and it was all covered with the boot and all that. What I did, and this end here was on the other other end to the other CV, CV part of it that went into the actual transmission and everything itself. What I did, is knock this off i didn't need it don't need it this here i ended up cleaning up as much grease as i could i took the torch cut a section out so i could actually separate all this took that off clean this up and i ended up with just a straight axle and of course this here was still attached and this is what comes through the um back of the actual housing here and went into the um, assembly and everything, and then you had the nut that held it on. And let's see, there we go. What I ended up doing, since this was attached on here like this, or whatnot, what I ended up doing is this here has a little, a little piece on it that looks like this, and then it kind of rounds itself up. And what I ended up doing is I put on my chop saw, and I sectioned it up so that way this was up this whole thing was up in the air on my chop saw and everything so when i cut it i was able to cut right down along there okay so that's what you would have seen on whoop. that's what you would have seen and whatever and took that off so i ended up with something that looks like this then what i did is i took this i stuck it on my lathe i just had one of those little mini harbor freight lathe type deals it's not a harbor freight it's i got it somewhere else but I took that, chucked it up in there, trued this up, and faced this just a little bit. Okay, so I can do without this whole mess. Don't have this on here anymore. Don't need any of this stuff, which was the knuckle and the CV joint. That can go. And that can go. Don't need this. So I ended up this here. This piece on here that's all nice and shiny is part of the other bearing, other half of the bearing that's actually in the in the um, um, what would be held onto the with the front strut and everything I just need to heat this up and pull that off I haven't done that yet 
But anyway, so this is my four bolt hub with the um, all the um, serrations and everything for the front axle. So what I'm going to do is this. So now I ended up with this piece and I have an axle. Here's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to end up taking a couple pieces of, of channel, mocking up a little um, jig. And what we're going to do is this. I'm going to take it, bring it over something similar like this. I'm going to make it so that way this here can fall down into a hole so that way it's good and level and all that. And I, like I said, I'm just going to be marked up in a jig. Then this here is going to be taken. It's actually going to be this end. It's going to be taken and set in the jig like that. So that way it's this end here to the flat, flat plate. And then this is what the um, hub and everything rides on. Okay. Right here, the dimension right around here is one inch. So I can find a one inch, one inch bearing uh, with pillow block and everything put on there. So that way, that way is center. Then what I need to find here, and I may end up taking it, putting it in my lathe and turning this section here down until I get one inch. I haven't really decided yet. I'm gonna see if I can find a bearing that's this size. And if so, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two pillow bearings and everything that fit the actual diameter of this. So I'll put one like right here and I'll put another one like right here. And then over here, the one inch section, I can end up sliding my pulley and everything on, tightening it down, that way that'll be my drive. So with this whole thing welded up right here because I can then weld that in so it's nice and centered. So I'll basically end up with a big long shaft like that. What I'll end up doing is the hub will now slide over here, tighten that up. I'll have bearing, bearing, pulley, and that's going to be my drive for this whole thing. So anyway, that's kind of what I got going on. Um, it's going to take me a couple days. We're getting ready to get a bunch of snow and everything here. So um, I'm probably not going to be working on this for a while. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what I had so far. Um, I may even, when I get this done, um, I may even, I may weld around this, clean up that weld a little bit, see if I can't find maybe a piece of pipe or something, um, and see if I can't maybe run a piece of pipe, slip a piece of pipe over top of this over, weld back around that, and then weld around this part here, so that way I got extra strength and everything along here, since this is going to be my weakest point at the present moment, because that's just going to be a weld. But um, anyway, that's what I got going. That's my idea. Um, as for the um, stationary end, as for the stationary end of this, um, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I thought I brought it out here. I guess I did. But anyway, as for the stationary end, um, I have a piece off of a trailer. Um, let me walk over here real quick. I could have sworn I brought it out. Yeah, I'm, oh, it's over here. Yeah. As for the stationary end, I have this here. This was uh, a nut. But this is just a little stub axle. Four bolts stub axle and basically I'm just going to weld myself up a plate that's going to get let me see if I can get this someplace where it's not going to let me open up my thing here hang on a second let me put this down hmm Eh, I'm just going to hold on to it. So stand by for just a second while I try and figure this mess here out. Huh. I think. Okay. So that's just going to get a plate and everything mounted here. 
um, then uh, the bolts and everything are going to go through it, hold that in place, and whatnot. This is off, like I said, it's off of a trailer. This is just going to drop on here, like that, or whatever. I'm not going to bash it on because I had a heck of a time getting it out. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so that's that. And as you can see, once it's all said and done, this goes, the nut, of course, goes on there and uh, tightens it all down. But then uh, the tire mounts right on and around and around she goes. Where she stops, well, hopefully it'll be in a piece of wood. But anyway, that's what I got going on. Um, I also was looking. Sorry, the phone's moving around, or my camera's moving around so much. I didn't want to try and get this undone. Oh, there we go. Um, also, just for uh, giggles, I was looking, and the car that I yanked the front axle and everything off of, the uh, Focus, has the same type of uh, rear hub system as this has. Um, like I said, this came off of an old trailer that I had um, that was really no good. Um, the other side had been robbed years ago for something else. Um, this is the only side I had, and it surprisingly, it was still a four bolt. And in fact, I believe, I don't know if you can see, but it was a Ford. So I'm assuming, since this fits the... Uh, Tire that the tires that I have and everything, this may have even come off of a uh, small Ford four bolt car. Um, so uh, it was a real simple trailer. It was just a piece of steel across with plates welded on the ends, and these are bolted on, on like that, and that was the axle. So, um, but anyway, that's going to be my idler end. This one here, and then of course I got my drive, which y'all saw. Um, and I just figured the drive, since it was splined and everything, that would be really good for uh, the drive section. So once I get that mocked up and everything, I'll try and get video before I weld it so we can see how it all comes out. And uh, other than that, that's all I have for you. Um, we'll see what happens. That's going to be my drive. Just need to do some measuring and seeing if I can get some bearings for it. So um, I don't think that'll be an issue. And if so, I'll throw it on my lathe and make it work. Anyway. I'll holler at y'all later. I'll keep y'all posted. We'll see how she turns out.